So this talks about um, for some of you, she's in a good place. You've got your house in order. Um, you've got a happy home life. You've been quite successful. Um, there's contentment. There's peace. You're abundant. Um, and I feel as if all that's missing for you is someone to share it with. The cards are suggesting <clears throat> that you let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So what I feel is um, for some of you, you became a wee bit of a recluse and you've not been getting out there. I feel some of you do want to meet somebody, but you can't do that sitting in your house. This is a good time, especially with the holidays coming up, that you'll be socialising more, accept invitations to places, um, let your friends help you. Your friends might know somebody to introduce you to, or they'll invite you to different places where there'll be a totally new group of people that you've not seen before. I feel some of you with the Three of Wands, um, you are looking for something that you've had in the past, not the person from the past, but that same passion, that same relationship, um, the excitement of meeting someone new, the you know, the whole zest of a new relationship, this is what you're looking for. I do feel as if um there's been a lot of healing going on for some of you. I feel as if you've, you know, got over past hearts, you are moving forward, you are ready to take the leap into the world again. You have two threes together here. Um in numerology the threes stand for achievement of goals, growth, abundance, but grouped together, um, they talk about group activities, um, delays that promise future success. So I do feel as if you've got your, you know, your, your stuff in order, your house is in order, your job, your career, your finances, that is all in order for you. And I do feel moving forward, um, the best thing for you to do is to get out and socialise Put yourself back out there. Get to meet new people. Um, <clears throat> don't look at what you used to have and expect that to come back because that isn't going to come back. And it wasn't all that anyway, or you would still be with the person, to be honest. I do feel there's something better coming for you, but you do have to put yourself out there. Um, the next card I've pulled for you is a Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is um, don't think about past loves and don't think about future loves. Be in the moment. Think about what you want to walk into your life right now. Think about all the positive aspects that you want this person to have. Think about the type of relationship you're looking for, um, the things you would like to be doing with a partner, um, your fantasies, your goals. Think about all the positive things that you can pull in. The law of attraction states that if you put out negativity, that's what comes back to you. So try and be positive and think of all the good things that you would like a partner to have so that that's going out and that's what you'll draw back in for you. Um, for others, I feel as if there's healing still going on in the situation. Have discussions with your friends. Your friends can help you through whatever you're going through at the moment. I feel for some of you it's been quite a traumatic time and look to your friends and family for support at this time. Don't dwell on what you had in the past. Don't dwell on it. Let it go. And as I said before, be in the moment. Feel right now what you would like to happen in your life right now, not the past and not the future. <clears throat> this is the way forward for you. In the centre here, I have the ten of the air. So the ten of air speaks, a ten speaks of endings. So this is the end of a difficult situation for some of you. I'm getting that some of you are going to be recovering from an addiction at this time and you're well on your way, you know, you're moving forward. This is a great path you've taken. Embrace the change um, and expect things to get better now. I feel as if um, you've made a real effort in to turn your life around. Um, and I feel as if there is someone coming in for you or there's someone came in for you. Um, you have the Nine of Wands here. So the Nine of Wands talks about some blockages. And I feel as if um, with the Five of Pentacles, there might be somebody that you're trying to change. 
um, or someone's going to come in that you're going to try and change. And I think the blockages are what's happened to you in the past. So you need to release these. Um, you aren't going to change anybody. You know, if someone comes into your life, it is what it is. See it for what it is. Take them for who they are. You can't change the world. You can't change people. People just are who they are. Um, a nine is near a completion. A ten is a completion. So you're well on your road to recovery here. Um, it's about trusting. It's about letting people back in and not taking the same old paths that you took before. Um, a nine and a five together create 14 so that reduces to a five so a five can talk about a wee bit of instability um but it also can talk about opportunities for change so there might be a challenge um or you might be a wee bit out of balance right now and that's just about trusting yourself that's about getting your body mind and soul back to an even keel where you can trust other people coming into your vicinity and you don't maybe try and put your um, opinions or your hopes or fears onto someone else, you know, don't try and change somebody, it just is what it is. The next card I've pulled for you is the Eight of Chalices. So this is somebody that's going to come in that on the outside they seem quite thorny, but see if you let the thorns melt away. You'll find a nice, loving, caring person in there. Again, don't try and change them. It might be the thorny exterior that you're trying to change. That will happen. You know, don't try and control the issue. That will just happen naturally. These thorns will eventually, you know, drop off. This is about two-way trust. They have to trust you and you have to trust them. Um, the number eight stands for movement. It stands for change and action. It's like success it's moving forward so this is a really great reading for somebody um that's been having difficulties in the past that's been a wee bit um at a loss or um have felt like a wee bit chaos in their life that's all coming into stability for you um and it's go by your gut instinct trust your inner feelings on this but i think this person that's coming in for you on the exterior, they do seem quite um, cold and thorny. But when that starts melting away and the mutual trust comes in, I think this will be really good. For the couples, I have the Five of Water, which talks about things not turning out the way you expected it to. Um, or you're not seeing the positive in the situation. I feel as if there's been some deceptions for some of you. Someone's been wearing a false mask. Um, so this could be... When we start a relationship, we don't actually always show who we are from the beginning, right? We we kind of make like put ourselves up a wee bit. We tell better stories about ourselves, but then when stuff fall, starts to fall away, you see other sides of people, and that's maybe all this means by deceptions. It doesn't have to mean lies and secrets, and it just means that you know the the mask starts falling off, and you start to see what's underneath the mask, you start to see the real person under the mask. Um, so maybe things were looking different to start with and now you're starting to see things in a different light and that's why things aren't turning out the way you wanted them to. But you have here the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about um, it's a progressive wheel. It continues to turn. So what I'm feeling is, although things weren't, the way you hoped or the way you planned things can turn to a positive situation for you even though there were some deceptions at the beginning so um if this is you <clears throat> if this is you i feel as if there was maybe if you had made yourself better or more than what you were and your partner starting to see through um maybe there was a bit of a lack of um confidence or something going on with you um maybe you didn't think you were enough for them so you built yourself up a bit the ten of pentacles is telling you to have a bit more care for yourself love yourself a bit more you are what you are you don't have to be try and be something different i do feel as if this is an end of a cycle um once these 
you know, all this falseness falls away, whether it's you or a partner, maybe this is you, you know, seeing it in a partner. I don't feel it was malicious. I feel they done it to make you like them or you done it to make them like you. I feel as if it was a lack of confidence thing um, that was going on here, but I feel it's going to move forward more positively for you. The next card I pull for you is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands talks about passion. It talks about seduction. So if this is you that was lacking confidence, what the cards are saying is um, be a seducer. Get your partner, um, surprise them, you know, seduce them every day. Be confident, love yourself more and be out there. Um, everybody has doubts and fears, but when it all, you know, when all said and done, they picked you and you picked them. So, you know, let all the things fall away and let your true self come out. Get your confidence back. Um, don't always wait for them to make a move or to suggest, you know, getting physical or whatever, you try and um, suggest it first sometimes because sometimes people think that you really have lost interest in them or you're not interested in them if you don't make the move, if they're always having to ask you um, for the physical side of the relationship. And it says, Re receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Okay, so this is just talking about um, giving and taking. So if you like to give all the time because you like to see people happy, um, they also feel that. So when they give you something and you go, no, no, it's okay. No, you shouldn't have done that. That's depleting their energy. So instead of doing that, just say thank you and take it and appreciate what they've done for you. <clears throat> Again, this ties in with the couples here because if your partner's totally always the one saying, you know, let's go and get physical, let's go upstairs, let's whatever it is, um, you know, I, I feel as if it's give and take, you know, if you be the seducer sometimes, then they see the appreciation, they see that you're giving and receiving, and that makes things a whole lot better, um, I hope this was of some help to someone, and I'm not seeing anything else today for you, I don't think. Whatever these deceptions are, I'm definitely feeling they weren't malicious. They were just trying to make you like them better than they already were. They didn't have the self-worth to expect you just to accept them as they were. But it's all positive moving forward here. 